Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am Abhishek Anand and today we are going to talk about how to land your dream internship. I'll share some of my experiences and tips with you guys so that your this dream can become true one day. So before we begin with how to get an internship, we need to know that why you should even consider applying for an internship. So the number one reason why you should even get an internship is just to get that experience get that opportunity to learn, get that opportunity to develop your skills and make yourself comfortable before you get into a full-time job. Moreover, by getting that experience, you will find out what you like and what you don't like about that job so that it is easier for you to make your next decision that whether you want to stay in that job or you want to change that role or change a company. And sometimes those experiences are going to be good and sometimes it's going to be bad and you learn to how to deal with those situations before you're preparing for a full-time role. And the number two reason is just that you get your foot into the door. So once you're in the company, you can start building your network, you can start building your connections because you're gonna meet so many new professional people, new professional coworkers, all that is going to help you build your network. And then the very most important reason that a lot of people would appreciate that is that these internships are mostly paid and you get paid to do, do that work so that you can pay off your tuition fee or you can just make your living more affordable. That's why getting an internship has a lot of benefit. Okay, so once you're clear with why you need to get an internship, we can begin with the step number one, which is build your profile. Yes, guys, so it doesn't matter that you have an experience or you do not have any experience you have those skills or you don't have those skills to get an internship you still need to start building your profile from somewhere make sure that you have your resume your portfolio your LinkedIn profile and your cover letter because that is optional in some companies so it's always good to have one standard cover letter as well once you have started building your profile the step number two is make your profile stronger and how to make your profile stronger is by getting experience and developing your skills. A lot of you might now say that I don't have any experience. So the answer is get experience. Yes, guys, that is the truth. And I know a lot of you might feel that that is not what we are looking for. And I'm starting from scratch. Everyone is starting from scratch. Everyone has to start from scratch one day. Trust me, today is the day when you can start doing it. And now the second question that comes to your mind is that how to get that experience, how to get that valuable experience. So to get that experience, you can do some part-time jobs, you can do volunteering, you can participate in hackathons, you can work on campus jobs, you can work off campus jobs. There are so, so many ways to do it. It's the truth that every experience is valuable and everything is worth it. It could be your good or bad experience, but at the end of the day, you're going to learn something from it. And you've asked me how that experiences will be valuable. The other reason is that you're going to develop a lot of your soft skills, learning how to handle some common situations like even working for like a Tim Hortons or McDonald's it is always going to give you some kind of benefit it could be how to work in a fast paced environment how to deal with pressure how to cope up with difficult situations how to communicate not all the employers are just going to look for your technical experiences right when they are hiring an intern they know that you are going to be hired to learn something and to add value to their work they just expect you to be open to learn now finally we move on to the step number three which is how to apply for an internship so guys here is where the secret lies that why someone is able to crack five or six internships whereas someone is just struggling to get one internship today we're going to talk about numerous ways that you can apply for those internships and land your dream job Firstly, we have to understand that there are harder ways to apply for internships. There are not so hard ways to apply for internships and there are easier way to apply for internships and get a response and get a reply, get an interview and finally get that job. So let me start with the hardest way to get an internship. Yes, guys, I want to start with the hardest way because I want you all to avoid this mistakes so that you don't fall into the trap with which these many people are doing it. The hardest way to land and an internship is by applying for those internships online. I know that this 
is the harsh truth but it is the truth a lot of you are doing this mistake i did this mistake okay so it's not that you don't get internships by applying online you definitely can but it's going to be hard why let's talk about it. so here i was like reading through one article by workopolis and let's read it together the internet has made it very easy for people to search out and apply for many job opportunities but sending out for more applications doesn't increase your chances of getting hired sending out better applications does employers have told us that sometimes as many as 75 percent of applicants for a given role aren't even actually qualified to do it now experts say that only even a small fraction of the selected candidates even get to an interview state 98 percent of job seekers are eliminated at the initial resume screening and only the top two percent of candidates make it to the interview. Fixing the employment market requires helping job seekers become top 2% candidates who can meet employers rigorous environment. So now here you guys know the real picture of the industry that getting a job is by applying online is not going to be easy. So if you think that you have a very good profile, you have very good experience. And in that case, I will highly recommend that applying for as many online jobs will be beneficial and the chances of getting you hired are high. But again, it's not going to be easy because there are so many people people who are applying jobs online. Now moving on to the next less harder way of applying for jobs is that when your online job hunting doesn't work, you go and apply for jobs in person. So I know it's going to still be difficult to make that time and go to different companies and apply for that job, but it's definitely worth trying. There are so many people who are applying online versus there are less people who are uh, going to the company and applying for the job over there. If you get that chance to meet that recruiting manager, or the hiring manager it's definitely going to show them that you are really really interested in working for their company and the chances of getting that interview call or getting that introduction with the hiring manager becomes higher whereas getting your resume through the ATS resume system is going to be again difficult now keep in mind that not a lot of companies accept those resumes and job applications in person now what to do now finally we are here with the easier ways to get that internship Easier way does not mean that you put in less work. You have to put that work, but the chances of getting that internships are high. Now, the short answer to this easier way is getting a referral from an employee working for that company, working for the same team, or maybe in the same role. So now if you know someone who works there or you have someone in your family, then congratulations, you are very much closer to getting that internship. But for the majority of people, that is not how it works. A lot of you might say that, what if I don't know someone who works there so here comes the secret that is build your network building your network means getting to know more people and getting to know those people who are working in that company and that's how you're going to get that referral at the end of the day there are numerous ways that you can do it firstly you can go start attending some events start meeting people maybe these events can be some social events or these can be professional events or any conferences events will give you an opportunity to meet those people once you are there now you have to get recognized because so many people attend events but you don't recognize everybody right to get that recognition you need to be curious firstly and curious about to knowing anything and everything just start asking some questions when you meet someone talk to them get into a conversation and ask as many questions as you can and another way to build your network can be joining clubs and societies in your school these are like those technical clubs or non-technical clubs or like some social volunteering clubs this could be anything right you need to get Get to know more people the more people you know the better now once you join the clubs these technical clubs such as the formula sae club or some uh, like hackathon club at your university or it could be any like uh, building an app you're doing some kind of technical thing in that club right you're developing your skills and at the same time you're meeting more people and now when you are in a club you will get to know that these clubs are funded by some sponsors these sponsors are also those companies where you want to work work for it could be one of them right and getting that experience from anywhere is going to be helpful to you so now these sponsors might also have opportunities for students like you they might be looking for interns maybe just go and get to talk to them it makes it more easier for you to connect with them when you are a part of a club and you're talking for a reason regarding your club for example like you're talking to get more funding or you are able to like get in touch with those uh, people in the marketing of that company and 
uh, getting to know them and getting into a conversation might also help you getting that referral from that person in that company when they are looking for interns. And another way to expand your network can be asking your professors if he is willing to help you and find some connections for you. There are times when the professors are also working with some specific companies to make a project with them. They might be having those connections and they might be able to help you connect with the right person and help you in getting that internship. You can also like start talking to people like you meet anyone. It could be like you meet someone at the gym, you meet someone and while doing any intramural sports or maybe someone you meet in the library. Just start developing those conversations, get to know about them, get to know about their experiences. And this is how you can expand your network. And now another very good way to start connecting to people nowadays is using LinkedIn actively. Yes, guys. So LinkedIn is a really powerful tool. It's very helpful in expanding your connections and getting to know more and more people in the industry. When you connect with someone from a company where you want to work for, start making a conversation with them. Reach out to people. Just don't say hi because hi is not going to get you anywhere, right? You have to start with making an introduction. Tell them about yourself. Tell them why you're interested in talking to them. And then another thing is get to know about that person. When you reach out to someone, get to know about that person and talk to them and get to know about how they got their job, how they are enjoying their role, what they like, what they don't like. And always, always compliment that person, right? Because people love compliments. And then once you start building that conversation, you may ask them for a Zoom meeting or just a phone call. And you will always learn something new. Maybe that person is not going to help you get a referral at the end of the day. But again, you learn something new about that company. You learn something new from that person by talking to them. Finally, like if that conversation is going well and you think that person is looking uh, interested in talking to you, then take a step ahead and yes, ask for that referral. Tell them why that you will be a good fit for their company and why you are interested in that role. This is how that the person might or might not be willing to help you out and get that referral into the company. And another way to get these internships and expanding your network is being a part of the co-op program at your school. These co-op programs are dedicated especially for those interns because they, these companies have partnered with the university and they have already posted their job on the university's website and it's easier for candidates to apply for these roles because now it will be a smaller pool it's only going to be from your school and you know that employer is interested in hiring candidates from your school there are high chances that you can get an internship by being in a co-op program and guys another tip is that when you are applying for these internships and looking for opportunities like this always research about those companies read about those companies in the news how they are doing and a lot of companies they make a postings online and through the news and the media that they are looking for like mass uh, intern opportunities like they're hiring a lot of interns so it's easier for you to get a chance to be a part of a company that is hiring for a lot of interns and now let's talk about the not so common ways of applying for these internships yes guys there are some other ways too that you can get an internship a lot of ways that i told you before are people are already doing that and this is how they're getting their referral but there are some other secret ways too so for example ask for people who are hiring through the social media platforms such as linkedin because in linkedin a lot of people they make posts and they show that they are hiring for interns reach out to that person because he is showing that he is looking for people to get recognized again you can also make your own posts like show them that you are looking for an opportunity tell them about yourself the frequency of posts should be higher and higher because the more posts you make the more you get a chance of getting recognized by that hiring manager or a HR person if whatever you are achieving whatever projects you are making tell them so people see your name more often and another not so common way is through the newspaper so one way is you read the newspaper and look for companies that are hiring for interns but the another way to do it also is that you make a posting for yourself as an advertisement that you are looking for an internship and you can add your social media links to it and you know tell about yourself in a, a very eye-catching way and one another way is to radio talk shows you know uh, call into the radio talk show and there are like thousands of people listening to the radio at the same time while they are just driving or they people just like to listen to the radio just give them a call and make an announcement that you are desperately looking for an internship and you are very interested in learning new things you are open to opportunities so if someone will be willing to help you he will definitely reach out to you and another very not so common way is that you can visit 
exit the company and just go to their parking lot where all the employees are parking their cars. I know it's funny, but at the same time, you are going to meet a lot of employees working in that company and you are going to get that face to face conversation with someone. Maybe people might not just stop to talk to you, but there are high chances that people will stop and spare some time to start talking to you. See, again, you have to get that conversation with someone, right? That's the point where you're going to get that referral from. So this is how you are going to start growing your network and developing your communication skills and your soft skills, all your skills that can combine together and help you land an internship one day. All right, guys. So here we are at the end of the video. I know I told you a lot of tips and tricks, but this is going to take a lot of work and a lot of patience. Be consistent. Just put the effort. I have really a good faith on you guys that if you start following these all strategies, then one day you are going to make it. You're going to crack that interview. You're going to crack that internship and be successful in landing that dream job one day. Please do like, share and comment below that if you have any questions, I will try my best to answer those questions. And if you need more specific videos on some specific topics, you want a dedicated video. So please let me know and I can make something for you guys. Please show some love, show some support to this channel and I'll see you next time.